Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Drayton show. Late at night, I'm your host, Nelly Drayton, here with the one and only, LOL, probably true. Show him love. And I am the co-host of the fabulous Nellie Drayton Show, hosted by the fabulous Nellie Drayton, also known as at Nellie Drayton, across all social media platforms. Show me love, baby don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more. We are truly shocked at the origin story of our co-host, LOL. Probably Drew. He has some things on a page, a specific YouTube page that has been hidden from the public. Let's get into your weeks. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> some things just ain't meant for everybody, you know? But some of us have lived in an age where things just didn't show up on, you know, the interwebs. You could make a mistake and it just, you know, it existed in the world between memories. We now live in an age where everything is documented and everything's on the interwebs. And um, for some reason, I thought it'd be cute at the age of like 19 or 20 or whatever, maybe seven, who knows how old I am, never gonna tell you. Um, I thought it'd be cute to like document my experience as someone who wanted to be famous. So today, what we're gonna do for you is we're gonna react to my old YouTube video. Yeah, because after this, y'all, it's going to it. I'm sorry, I can't do that to myself. Now, I will say, the comment section, have at it. On my personal YouTube page, I don't think so, babes. I don't, not. Not on my watch. Not, not on, on my, my watch. Not on my watch. Okay, so y'all gonna have a lovely filled day with my old self, my old videos within the comment sections. I welcome it. Trust me, I have a good sense of humor. I can take it. But when I go home, when I go home on my personal page, not on my watch, babes. Not on my watch. I'm sorry. My underwear is like sticking to my cheeks and it is like not. Do what you got to do. Sorry. My, this dump truck is just giving me problems. <laughs> wow, it's such a hard life. For the f this may be your first time watching a, a, a video, an episode on the Nelly Drayton show. If this is your first video, your first experience, I strongly suggest you go watch our very first podcast episode, just you, so you can have some type of an idea of, of who we really are. Yeah. This is just a side episode for Fridays, Saturdays, depending on how I feel in post production. Mm, gabba gabba juice. And we hope that you like it, love it, and one more of it. Without further ado, we're going to get into it. All right, let's do this thing. Boy, if you don't get- I, I'm, I may not be as critical about this video. Can you, oh my God, she's thirsting over my thumbnail. Um, so, okay, so. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> We're gonna be watching my video about my crazy ex. Have I, I don't think I've ever spoken to you about this ex. I've had so many. I'm sorry. I'm a serial dater. Well, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm a, I used to be a serial dater. Like, I used to really just... <laughs> probably yeah. excited and look what uh, happened to me. Oh, uh, you're right. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry to this lady. Um, but no, this this story, I, I probably won't be hypercritical. I think this one was, is really fun. So, um, but it is juicy, and we can kind of like dive into it a little bit because it was really juicy. And to be honest, I don't I don't even know that man anymore, and I could literally care less that if like we talk about him. Truly, honestly, as a matter of fact, actually, I do. I'd be seeing him out, but he don't have it. He don't have it in him to walk up to me and say something to me because you want to know something about me that you won't see on this podcast, you won't see on this show. I got hands okay. and I know how to run them. Sorry, <laughs> I may be like cute and sweet and like fun, but I'm also like low key like, we yeah. Y'all knew this. They do. This ain't nothing new. So without further ado, let's get into it. <gasps> My Crazy Ex Story by Drew Valentine. Uh. Hey guys, how are we doing today? I'm just gonna jump right into it, really get started. I know if you guys watch my 
broadcast. It's the strong, it's got the said strong that I was going to be jaw. The next video. That's that, lighting. That does that for That's me. That's lighting. It don't matter. Oh. Are we talking about it right now? I definitely was trying to highlight that like little bit of a dimple that I have. It's How's the it? low eyes. You got low eyes, Drew. I was probably filming this at like 2 See, a.m. that's how you be now. You be, you you be like this I now. Oh. Like but in that video, you was like, yeah. So like, let me tell you guys about Well, it. I probably was keeping my eyes low because that light bulb was literally in my face. So I was like, so, I'm blind. I met this guy in order to like I have kicked it off. Um, oh. I was living Sorry, in another city about an hour away at the time. He, we went on like a date. Then we started dating like shortly after. Short, very shortly. At my house every night, spending the night with me, hanging out with me, you know. At my when like, I was living with my friend. Like a whole like thirty days for like legit thirty whole days. There was some little it's problems. That's the background music for me. And it was a little loud. I should have turned it down. You know, back in my hometown, somebody you know there was a lot of rumors you know spiraling around. A lot of things were being said to me and to my friends and my family about who I was messing with. That was time. true. So, like. I looked into it, and some things were obvious, like obvious lies. Like some things were like just not okay. I ended up breaking up with him. That's true. That was that's pretty much the story of this ex, of our relationship. So now here's how it gets crazy. I find out yeah. that he did date was dating another guy for a year and a half. My mom's neighbor. Um, I found out then. It's crazy. I'll get the into it. Guy was my neighbor, <laughs> and uh, there was other. There's a lot of guys. It was ballsy. I'll give him that. Marriage. Like really, like it was crazy, okay? Me and the neighbor, we met up and we were like hanging out and we were really kicking it off. Like we were, you know, we had discussed everything. We were cool and so we were just like, well, we're just, let's just go out. We went out one night and he was following us. My yeah. ex was following us. Yeah. He was following us and was like tracking us down and trying to figure out where we're going because he didn't want us to hang out at all. Still not really So how sure does it, that makes it even more obvious. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna get into it. He was following my story, like, my story times were not as great as they are now. I'll really yeah, dive into it after this. Thing that we were still together. It was really I know, am I? So now that you know the story, yep. I'm gonna tell you now how I dealt with it. At first, you know, I had talked to a friend and he told me like, you know, if you seek closure from somebody else, you never get it. You will never get closure from somebody else. Oh, I else. learned that. What yeah. I just closed the door. I mean, you close like. the door. Oh, the things you have to go out and get, to get it for yourself. It's the Give yourself closure, like just let it go. <laughs> Tell yourself what you're getting yourself to move on from the situation and do what you had to do. And and that's kind of what I did. Like, I really just gave myself closure. I was like, it doesn't matter what kind of questions I ask him. I'm not going to get any honest answers because he hasn't told the truth about anything. Like, we found out everything was a lie. Back. So I was pretty much just like, whatever. I don't really care. It wasn't as serious anyways. Like, I was never, I wasn't like in love with no. the kid. By no. No. So it wasn't hard. This is me minimalizing. The coping mechanisms that are being displayed here today. I mean, technically speaking, he probably really ain't it. But well, you know, I, I was calling him a kid because childish. This is childish behavior. I mean, it is. Why are you following me? And let it go. Somebody needs your a lot of drama in my life. Yeah. I need that at all. I already have my own problems. And uh, it helped. It really did. I gave myself closure and I moved on. A lot of stuff was happening at the same time and I was... I'm naturally the bigger person. I'm usually the bigger person about any situation. I'm usually just like, okay, whatever. You can say what you want to say. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. Like I don't really care. I was. I was being the bigger person. He was calling, Always. you know, calling me out to other people. Fact. He never called me out. Fact. He was because he, he knew. Me out to other people. Was telling people lies about me, saying that I was trying to do this and trying to do that. Have you tried? Told people. Not anymore. Um, too pretty. That I was hey, Lil Zay, what are you saying? Mm. Well, Time to wish. He did say I was homeless. He had yeah. the nerve. Try to make my image really, really bad to these people. Like, he was telling people that you were homeless. Really, really good. Like, anybody that when he was staying at my. It's not true. Oh. So I'll it doesn't get any better. Really it don't. I don't give a flying. Whoa! Hey there, 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 bud. Oh goodness. Oh. I don't give him. I don't give him. Oh. I don't give him oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, whatever. I mean, you weren't adding me. You didn't at me. Bro. Oh. Then he called me. A oh. oh. <laughs> yes. Help me up. <laughs> I'm cut down. <laughs> so I was like, okay. There's so much going on. Now it's time for me to get. Is that a cheetah? Yeah. And this is not the way you deal with an ex. You should just let it go. I don't. You don't. You ain't gonna call me. Whoa. Phone and not step to my door. So here's what I did. His I was about to like that even then. Things out that's with. dangerous. Yeah, I went on dates with him and had him pay. I can. Oh. I was taking pictures and taking videos and I was sending it to my, you know, 
of the crazy ex and i was like yo we're with together Come i on. was and i was being like are you with drew are you with this are you doing this are you doing that and he was like no 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 like, we're no, 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 no. and we were and like i was pissing him off and then you know the ex-boyfriend not the crazy one the other one he was like um, yeah you gotta chill <laughs> so eventually i just stopped with everything i'm just like okay well i have my fun with it and, gonna use somebody to hurt somebody else but so i was I just kind of cut it off with both of them but yeah that's how i dealt with my ex oh, um weird. not the not the best way to deal with an ex <laughs> thank you guys for watching i hope you guys liked it um <laughs> they did you know, comment below a crazy ex story let me know what you guys like um subscribe like my video share with your friends and family they need to know this story. no okay it's the enough of that enough. okay so quickly let's dive into it because I forgot all about the situation but I actually just saw him like maybe like two weekends ago I saw him because he still hangs around which is so weird to me I don't you like that do you want me to start doing that again sorry I used to do this number I used to do this I out my wink game I believe it Girl, my win game was unmatched. I'm sorry. I believe it. I used to When I was trying to do my straight shit, I gotta do the man's prayer. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't. But no, we're gonna dive into it like, real quick. Real quick. So, because my. my <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> hey, I'm good. You're not making me nervous. Why are you not looking at me? <laughs> You're not making me nervous, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put this out there. Drew, you was fine, bro. I think. Drew. Thank you. I, I think because I see you now. Yeah. If I was to meet you back then, it probably would be very hard for me. The clean cut. I was definitely going for more like a clean cut. That was definitely like my aesthetic. Now I've kind of done more of like a... Somebody needs to see if he needs like a meal ticket or um, you wouldn't. If I was walking on the street, you would definitely think that I need like a Big Mac burger meal or something. Cold. Yeah, that's that's my aesthetic. I go for that now because I like I'm, I. Cause I you was hitting uh, a lot of low. Eye. You don't think you was? I don't do that anymore. But I'm trying to tell. Am I like bright eyed and? Well, if I is. see you now though, I don't. Yeah. You was like. Oh, maybe it's because he was talking like super. Did I have like swag or something? I don't know what it was, but here on the Nelly Drayton Show, uh -huh. we try to maintain our composure oh. when feathers are being fluffed. Oh. And. Okay. Well, let me get into the story while you. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll face this way. <laughs> like Charlie's Angel. So, um, <laughs> let me, let me, I'll just break it down like real quick. So, met this guy on social media when I was, I was actually, um, visiting my mom. I was living, um, near Louisville at the mm. time. I was living like in Oldham County mm. with my friends. We all had an apartment together, you know, whatever. And I had met this guy when I was like, I think I was going to Alabama with my mom and my sister, or I was going to Alabama with my mom to visit my sister. She was in the military at the time. Mm. And at the time, I was on some social media apps I'm about to talk about, because, um, no. Um, but I met I'm on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't in birds. I you should be. You should be. I don't be responding back to nobody. I'm not on, well, I, I have the apps on my phone, but I don't use them because I'm kind of like... I know, I just have the app. I feel sorry for people that swipe it right to me, right? Seriously, now. because so you're, bad. whatever dreams you may have, Sorry to that man. Um, but anywho, so I, I messaged him. We, we were talking on social media apps. Went to Alabama. We were talking while I was in Alabama. Came back. He like refused to like meet me. He was right next door. He was my mom's neighbor. He was right next door. He didn't, he acted like he couldn't like see me. And it's like, walk out of your door. 
He couldn't do that. What do you mean he was? I'm, I'm confused. Okay, Why so. Was he acting like he couldn't. Because he had a boyfriend, but he didn't tell me that. I didn't know that. He didn't. He made it very. He was obviously texting me on a social media app for single people. So I just assumed that, well, you know, good faith. He was single. He was not. He was with a man. That's why he wouldn't come out the door because what was he going to tell his, his boyfriend who, who, was, who was staying there with him? Well, he's probably, they were probably in bed together. Hanging out. Exactly. Because it, like, it, like, like, it was like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning. So he probably like, couldn't have an excuse to like, get out of bed. So I was like, whatever, you're being weird. Thought nothing of it. Well, one day, uh, I went back to Louisville with my friends and we were living together, doing whatever. And we started talking again. And then we started going out. He came and picked me up, because at the time I didn't have a car. He came and picked me up, we like, were going to do things, going out, going to the clubs, doing all the things that we the do. Way. The clubs. So we were going to the clubs, doing the what, what club goers do. And uh, we started dating very shortly after. And uh, it was like a whirlwind, but he, I mean, he was doing anything just to kind of like pacify me, so I didn't ask questions. So if I was like, oh, I'm hungry, he brought me like shit tons of food. If I was like, oh, oh I'm bored. Well, oh. yeah, but I think he was just like, he was attracted to me, but wanted me to stay hush hush. So he's always- So he was like, just whatever you want, I'll I give mean, it to you. Just I like, be quiet. I oh, I took full advantage. When I found out, we didn't break up immediately after. No, no. Um, Cause I'm gonna tell you, if I'm if I'm gonna do one thing, I'm gonna dog you, dog you. Okay. Always been that. Always will be that. If you dog me, I'm gonna dog you for dirt. Period. So, anywho, we're dating, hanging out, spending time together, whatever. Um, one thing led to another. My mom called me, and she was like, "Your boyfriend has a boyfriend." I was like, "Yeah, I know, my." Girl, you're talking to him. I guess me. Uh, and he's buying me like food and clothes and stuff. And then she was like, "No, he's my neighbor." And I was like, hmm? "And she was like, I was talking to his. I was talking to her neighbor because she was smoking and she would go outside and smoke. And his his boyfriend at the time was smoking too. Mm -hmm. So they'd go. My mom, you know, she's. I get it honest. She's very social. So she was outside talking to the neighbor, and. He was saying something about like, you know, my boyfriend is like never home. He's always out like in Louisville doing whatever, da 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 My mom was like, huh, my son just got a boyfriend and he's like always in Louisville, da 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 My mom, come on Inspector Gadget, put two and two together and she was like, you're dating my neighbor's boyfriend. I was like, no, your neighbor's dating my boyfriend, okay? Wait, I'm so, yeah. whoa, whoa, I'm lost. Go ahead, ask your question. You, you said, mm -hmm. Um, you lost me at the, mm. your neighbor's dating, you lost me at that. So, this man, remember how I told you I was visiting my mom because we were going to Alabama? Yeah. And I was talking to the gentleman. He yes. was right next door, but he was like, can't come outside. Right. He was dating somebody. They were living together. They lived together. That's mom's neighbor. So that was your mom's, mom's neighbor. neighbor is your ex's boyfriend. Yeah, that was his current boyfriend while he was dating me. Yeah. He was living a double life, which I'm like, First of all, Dog. Rough. well, first here's here's Rough. Rough. here's where I was like, this is why I at that moment I stopped taking the situation seriously because mm -hmm. I was like, so you're just letting your boyfriend just run around Kentucky doing whatever the fuck and you have no questions about it. Turns out he thought that his boyfriend was like working. It's the lies for me, baby. It's the so I found out that this was true because I, I mean. My, why, why would my mother be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, yeah. so I was like, okay. Um, so I made him for like probably like three days straight. I was like, I'm hungry. Bring me food. My friends want snacks. Bring them food too. You know what? We need groceries. Go buy us groceries. Who the fuck was? He was pimping me the fuck out. You over here sleeping at my house, eating up my food, drinking up all my drinks. He was having a good time. He sure was living his fake life. Double so life. I lived my Sweet best life. life. Okay. And I dogged him out. And then after, it literally, he brought all this stuff. He brought all this stuff the third day. He brought all this stuff and I was like, thank you so much. Push him up the door, closed it, locked it. We gotta go. Blow my phone up, doing all this stuff. No. And I was like, you are a joke. So we ended it. You know, it got messy, whatever. Then, you know, I was like, I'm not done. Because at this time, I was, I was 19, 20 years old. I was a child. It was wrapped up. Uh, I was like, I'm going I'm to show, I'm going to give him a taste of his own medicine. Because, first of all, 
I mean, Nelly obviously attracted to me, so clearly I knew, I knew I was attractive. So I was like, I'm gonna go to mom's house for the weekend, and I'm gonna fuck his oh, boyfriend. Oh. He needs some. <laughs> he got some. Oh. Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we never, we never, we never did that. Me and him never, me and the gentleman who was dogging me, we never had intercourse. And me and his boyfriend, when we was fooling around, we never had intercourse. We never even kissed. Never. Never happened, okay? He is deceiving. Never happened. But long story short, I went to his boyfriend. I pretty much was like taking pictures, taking selfies, sending them straight to, I want to say his name so bad, but I'm not going to give him clout. Um, and I sent them straight to him because I still had his number. So I was like sending him like, look what we're doing. Like we're in the car, we're like at the mall. He's like buying me stuff and da 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 da. Like just being sorry, Patty. Sorry, Patty. Sorry, Patty. Sorry, Patty. Sorry, Patty. You were a messy one. I mean, I'm not still. You still are. Yeah. It's, it's, it's um, but moral of the story is, um, know your worth. No, seriously. No, you're worth. Roofs out here. And sometimes your worth is like groceries or gas. So, no, you're worth. Four flowers times 12. Like so, if, if you find, I'm gonna tell you something. If you're young, I'm gonna give, this is advice is for you, okay? Because you have an opportunity to be messy and you can like look back at that and be like, I've grown from that. If you're older, let's just be the bigger person, okay? Let's move on. But for Wait, you, what? Well, hold on. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Because, you know, I'm still immaturity, you know, maturity. Like, there's some things, sometimes, like, let go and, and, and let God, right? But for your young people, if you want to dog him, grow up, don't, these girls be doing it wrong. This is why sometimes these, these little girls be eating me up. It's like, I'm going to expose him. It's like, for what? Use him. Dog him, Use bro. Him. Play nice. Pay your bill. So that he sends you yeah. like, Apple Cash. Yeah. That he forgot. Do, when people show their cards, I'd be like, oh, okay. Is <laughs> your gift for your birthday? Girl. Thank if you I, if I, if I, the Hope moment, you. the moment I find out someone's playing with me, baby, you didn't realize that you just plugged into a whole game. <laughs> and it's two players. <laughs> It's two players, and I'm gonna win. Yeah, I'm gonna unplug your controller. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm throwing the Xbox out the window. Game over, babe. So, if you're young, dog him. If you're old, let it go. Talk to his cousin. Oh, God. There's something in this liquor. <laughs> Casa is in your house. I don't know, but it's some strong as a capital C. Casa with a capital I'm C, baby. I'm not crazy. I'm just built different. <laughs> this is what it is. And I've got so many X stories for he you has, vibes. He has stories. So many, and I'm I'm I've gotten so much better at being a storyteller. I promise. That was Promise. good. That was trust me. That was, yeah. That was I mean, I could really like if you really want me to like get into it, let me know, and I can really get into like a lot of my exes because it's so messy vibes. That's, crazy. That's because I was messy. I only have one ex, the father of my child. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't look if it's a good thing that I'm a gentleman because if I was a woman, do you know how many children have running around this place? I have been. Oh! Uh, I dated. Oh, let me not. Wow. Woo! Wow. Pop I did. Girl, I'm about to put it all out. And on, on the that table. note, thank you all so much for watching. We hope you guys liked it, loved it, and want more of it. Again, my crazy egg story by the one and only. LOL. Probably Drew. On social media. <laughs> Find him. Follow him. And talk to him about his crazy ex. Ooh. Until next time. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is the Nelly Drayton Show where creative souls gather to go beyond. Thank you for watching. Mm-mm. Sorry. <laughs> Bye guys.